Why did you drop out of school? I dropped out and it wasn't, this was not a financial smart decision. This was like what, seven years ago or something like that. Um, I dropped out studying music composition. This is going to make me sound like the biggest asshole in the world, but this was like my actual logic, mm -hmm. not was not trying to brag. I was making more mu money selling my music compositions than my professors were. So I was like, how much are you why? making? I didn't even know you not did that. Not that much, like an extra $20,000 a year. It's nothing crazy. Wait, selling your own music composition. So yeah. you write actual music. So like, me, like in the concert band world, like people will pay you like a certain uh, number per minute of music that you write in like an ori original piece. And then people will then purchase that music eventually once it's published. So you play the piano. Or what is it that you... I played the trombone, a little bit of the bassoon. I can fake the piano, more like chords, yeah, melody. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I, then I write music like that, yeah. How did you get started doing that? Were you always just gifted in music? Dude, I, I don't know. It was random. Fourth grade, we had a music class that everyone hates. No one likes elementary school music class. So I think, we, I, I, think I did. You did? Yeah. You liked playing the little... I was the recorder. We never, we never did that. No, I was involved in like the piano and stuff. Oh, yeah. okay. Uh, either way, we would have like every once in a while we'd go to the computer and we'd take like music theory or whatever. I didn't know. But the quicker you complete the assignment, you can go into a program where you drag notes onto a thing and it makes you know the songs yeah, and makes stuff. The sound. And then I was like, I asked for that for Christmas, that program, and that's what I ended up getting. And then I just you know fell into the love of just writing music and coming up with music. And the idea was like, okay, there's a piece of music I want to hear. It doesn't exist yet, so I'm gonna write that piece of music. So you're making music, making about what 20k a year? You said extra something and like that. What period? time in your life was this during college this is during college yeah okay so then you dropped out of college yeah right and then immediately after college you got this product management job. not immediately no i was just working around doing extra jobs barely making it by by the music composition stuff plus jimmy johns and some other odd jobs and stuff like that mm. but then i ended up getting a sales job down in austin uh five years ago because uh, one of my uh friends that i've known forever he just recently graduated college he ended up getting a sales job down here and they were looking for the exact same position and i was like oh okay well there you go i've always wanted to be in austin so perfect pack up the sedan come down in a week and then uh just kind of built a mini career at that company, but I was able to do very well in sales. So that's Maybe how, uh, it was like education when it comes to trading and different things you can plug into your charts to help trade. Okay. So like, like that. Uh, indicators and stuff like that. So we were selling educational classes for trading, trading indicators and subscription services, uh, to watch traders trade live. And then, so the sales team was responsible for getting people into those. So it wasn't much cold calling cause we didn't have a big team. So really we only had time to focus on the people who were already internal. And it was actually quite an easy job. I always led the sales team, which was a very big prideful thing for me. Uh, except for my first month, obviously, when I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. Mm. So I ended up leading the sales team, and that's how I paid off all my debt as quick as possible. Before then, a couple of years before then, was when I started to get really interested into personal finance and becoming as mm -hmm. educated as I could on that. And then landing, you know, the first adult job, it was like the perfect avenue that sales, as much as you grind, as smart as you are in it, you can make an infinite, uh, mm -hmm. like an infinite amount of money as long as the company doesn't suck, right? So I just worked my off and made as much money in that role as possible to pay off the debt, start investing, and then save up a 10% down payment on my first property all mm -hmm. within a couple of years. And how That's much good. were you making doing sales? Over a hundred. You were making over a hundred from that. Yeah. Even though the base salary is 30. But what about that other job that you were also working? Well, that was only the last six months. Got it. Okay. Uh, the last th three, four months at this original company. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I was doing a product management role at both the companies mm -hmm. and then got laid off at the first one totally fair, reasonable. I wanted to quit anyway. I was just like, all yeah. right, I may as well collect the dual income over here, which I mean, come on, not a good thing to do. I don't recommend anyone do it. Like I don't feel great about it, but it happened and I'm open and honest. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's not something I would say anyone should do, but yeah. Why did you quit your hundred thousand dollar a year job to do YouTube? Uh, well I quit it once. Uh, we were at $10,000 a month and I was doing all the work myself. So I got all the money. So that kind of equated to it. And I made sure I saved up a one-year emergency fund before I went into it. Oh, and by the way, this clip is brought to you by our sponsor, Epidemic Sound. Click the link down below to get one month for free and two months half off. We've been using them for years. We use them in the intro to the full podcast. They have a massive library of incredible music and sound effects. Click that link. Thank you so much, Epidemic. And thank you for watching.